We were wondering why we had a snake on our uniform. We found it was actually a legless lizard. We went to visit the grasslands, but we didn't see the legless lizard. We saw cardboard, a pillow, we saw paper. We saw lots of rubbish and made me sad. Because the legless lizard could have choked or died. I think all the buildings uh, keep on stressing the legless lizard. I was I was worried that the legless lizard was dead. It made me feel bad for all the rubbish to be there. We all wanted to tell people that the legless lizard might be extinct. When we came back from the grasslands, we started brainstorming about how we could get the message out there. We wanted to bring the legless lizard back. We came up with lots of ideas. We wrote a letter to the newspaper editor to tell them all about the situation. We made a poster to tell people to stop throwing rubbish and making houses. We wrote up a letter and said, please don't put your rubbish at the grasslands. We spoke at the microphone at assembly to tell people to stop to tell people to stop throwing rubbish. The free for buddies and the preps planted plants around the school to make the legless lizard come back. This is the legless lizard habitat I made. I made the habitat out of mud and wood so the legless lizard has something to live in. I put some grass and hay in there so the legless lizard feels nice and comfy. Some bugs might go in there and some bugs won't. So the legless lizard, when it comes in, the bugs will be in there for him to eat. Now I know to not throw rubbish because you will destroy the legless lizard's habitat. I feel happy because I'm helping the legless lizard to survive. I wouldn't throw any more rubbish now that the legless lizard isn't there, so we will come back.